Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, I cannot believe it's already the end of the year and we're all trying to get rid of all of our old stuff and getting ready for our new planners. So today I thought it would be the best time to share some ideas on how to archive your planners. Whether you are in a ring planner, disbound, traveler's notebooks, a bound book of some sort, I have a few tips for all different types of planners. So I'm gonna go over them with you today. I will put along the progress bar um, by category of what type of planner. So if you only care about one type of planner, you can jump right there and ignore the rest of it. Okay, so let's get right into it. And today I thought I would start first with ring planners. So the first idea I had was to get these little single rings and this is probably the most inexpensive option so I thought it was great and I just got these off Aliexpress I think I'll link everything down in the description box below but they're just these little rings that you open up like this and so if you had a stack of inserts for example you would just loop it oops I slit my inserts so I, I got to be a bit more careful but you would just do that and you can put one or you can put many rings on your stack of inserts depending on what you want but that is probably the easiest and cheapest way to archive your ring inserts okay and you get so many in one pack so you could archive so much and you can also get them in different sizes as well i think so you could get like the big rings or whatever if you want to put like one year of inserts together so that was my first idea my second idea was these little rings so they're kind of um similar to those but these are three rings in one and they're all together obviously and then you just open all of them and they basically fit on three sets of rings so i guess this is just a bit more sturdy because there's obviously more rings but either way and i know that some people actually use these like as the rings for like a planner because you can um Put your inserts in here and then stick it in like a, a cover like a planner a planner cover, like a notebook type cover like the lv um, desk agenda or any kind of planner cover that doesn't have rings and then you could just use this kind of as the ring so dual purpose but these are great and are also a really inexpensive option the third one I had is this. So this, for those of you who have got Moterm planners, which I'm sure is most of you, is just the ring mechanisms that you can get. And I don't know if, about you guys, but for me, I have a bunch of extras of these because I buy them in different colors, different sizes and whatnot. And so you can obviously use these and just not have like the planner cover, but just use that to store a set of inserts. And what's great about this is obviously when you switch planners or you like want to reuse these rings, you could just take them out and then reuse the rings and then put the insert somewhere else, right? So I thought that would be a good option as well. And then the last one for rings is probably like the most obvious that you guys have probably done before. And that's these clear PVC planners. Again, also very, very inexpensive, um, but obviously more expensive than those single rings. And these are great because I think they look really nice too. So if you want something that's stored like still like as a proper notebook instead of just the inserts itself, I love these. And these come in personal size, they come in pocket, they come in A5, so it's great. And then you can get um, different sized rings. I did find that trying to find rings that were 30 millimeters, like this like a bit bigger was a lot harder um so i'll link the one that this one that i got down below so you can get this one because this one is a big one you see and for archiving inserts you probably want like a, a bigger planner right so yeah i like this just because if you want it to you know look really nice still you can keep all your dashboards and they'll still show through in this clear cover and of course you can just use this as your actual planner of um as well so it kind of is dual purpose again so i love that so those were the ideas that I had for um, rings. So then let me get the ideas that I had for, let's do uh, TNs next. Okay, so the first one that I have, and I have shown this before, is these little plastic archive binders. And this I just got from AliExpress and it's really inexpensive and it's great because you just put the little notebooks on each of these little metal threads 
and you can see that there's quite a few little threads and you can get these in standard and passport size and then you just put the inserts in and then close it up and so you can store a whole bunch of your um, little TN notebooks in one little shell and because these are so inexpensive they are a great option for archiving so that was my first idea for tans then the next one is a bit trickier but um also quite inexpensive so i thought i would just share it as a thought and that is binding your inserts together like threading them all together into one big stack basically like book binding and i think i have a video sharing how i did that so i'll link it up over here but i basically use this tool called we are memory keepers and it's super simple you just use this little tool to punch the holes into your tns and then it comes with like the string and the little these little tools um, to be able to like thread your books together it's book binding essentially and then that way you just have all your inserts together and they're just all held together it's really inexpensive you just buy the one tool and then you just need thread and then you can string them all together um, so a super easy way to put together all your TNs so if you're interested in that just check out that video and I think I talk through all the steps of how to put it together and then of course the last one is again similar to kind of the clear rings is just to get a really inexpensive TN planner cover and store all your planners in there so I know obviously the travelers company ones are a lot more expensive but Amazon and AliExpress have different travelers notebook covers that are I think like ten dollars fifteen dollars I've seen I'll link them down below that you can use as options for storing your covers because they're not very expensive or storing your inserts I mean because they're not very expensive anyways okay so those were the ideas that I had for TNs and then let me grab my disc bound okay so then for disc bound really I just have the one idea because I mean it, it there's not as many possibilities and that is using these really cheap plastic discs that I got from AliExpress. I swear these were like three dollars for the pack or something like that and you can get them in different colors, different patterns, and different sizes. So I got the biggest size here and I've just been storing some of my half letter discs in here and they work great. They're really inexpensive. You don't need any kind of cover and obviously it just keeps it together as like a a full planner right um so i really like these and i got them because they're you know quite inexpensive of course it's not as easy to turn with these plastic discs as it would be for uh, with aluminum um but i mean the point is you're just archiving it and i just wanted to have all these pages together so i don't really care as much what it looks like um but i still think it looks kind of cute but it definitely beats like buying the clear plastic discs that are like so expensive they look very nice but quite expensive so I probably wouldn't want to use that to store my inserts so that's unfortunately the only thought I had for my disc planners if you guys have any other solutions on how to store disc inserts together let us know down in the comments below because I'd love some other options because as you guys know I have been using discs this past year Okay, so that's that one. And then I kind of then I kind of have two you can use for basically any planner system that I'm going to show you now. Okay, so the next idea is a pretty obvious one and that's just to keep all the old boxes like planner boxes or whatever to store your inserts or your bound books. So I've always done this in the past and I actually do that for all of my spare planner notebooks and accessories is just to keep some of the nicer planner boxes that I've got and just store them in the box of course. And recently I saw from Cloth and Paper that they actually came out with like an archive um, box basically and it's first storing all your planners and your notebooks and stuff and it looks really aesthetic really nice and I think they made it I'll put a picture of it on screen but they designed it so that it has like some wording on the side so that you could stick it on your bookshelf and it would poke through and it would look really nice I think it says archive on the side or whatever um, but yeah so that's obviously a really easy way to store everything and so even if you've um, used some of the other options to store your notebook of course you could still put all of those into another box just so that they're all together and I do that as well with all of my previous books and um, planners that I want to keep for the future so that's a really easy one and then the last one that I have again a pretty simple one is for any kind of paper inserts and just to use a regular stapler to staple them together I don't know about you guys but I don't really revisit my inserts that often and so like 
I don't really care how they're stored together as long as they're together, to be honest. So you could just staple them together. Of course, once you have like too thick of a stack, you're not going to be able to staple it. Um, but if you have a smaller stack, you could staple it. And then the other super easy one that you can do is just get those little, you know, the little old school clips um, and just call it a day. And yeah. <laughs> super simple ways so those are the quick and easy ways that I had to store all of your inserts if you guys have any other ways that I haven't mentioned please let me know down below because we're obviously all looking for ways to store our planner inserts as we head into the new year thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye